Okay, here we're going to be stripping slowly the upper body panels, tailgate, windscreen, etc. from the lightweight to go air portable mode, hopefully. First up is to shorten up the tailgate. And uh, you see that will attach to there. It was attached there, like so. We've also got to remove these uh, split pins so that we can disengage the top half of the tailgate. I was pointing at the wrong split pin. So that split pin comes out, the other one stays in, hopefully, the tailgate comes apart. And there it is. The tall board part of the tailgate is removed. Next up is removal of the uh, radio operator seats. They've been in there a while, they might be a bit tricky. So the radio operator seats fill in by two fasteners at the bottom and that little clip goes underneath the bodywork. To get to that bolt there, the nut on the other side is just underneath there. You can see in there, so you've got a Remove those screws and just move that mud shield back a bit. And as you see, once the nuts are removed, it just comes out like that. Now to take the rest of the uh, rear body off, it's apparently just a case of removing those fasteners. I have to remove the seat belt. Same on both sides. This could be fun. So the side body is held in with these captive nuts that are pop riveted on and the uh, pop rivets are 40 odd years old and didn't really want to work. These three fasteners come out. It's the whole top panel loose. So I'm potentially opening a can of worms here. This whole vent panel, windscreen, all comes off. I don't know what it's like underneath. Part of the cowl panel removal is to disconnect the wiper motor. And the uh, Windscreen washers. The other thing I did was take off the uh, bumperettes. The windscreen's off, there's a bit of rust there to be cleaned, and the front bumper bar comes off. And the good thing is the uh, side panels can stay on the wood sticks. <laughs> 